Hello friends, welcome to Margi. We are starting UPSC Prelims 2022 Current Affairs Batch. It will be starting from 1st of February 2022. What are the key features of this batch? First of all, we are planning to cover 18 months of current affairs. A comprehensive coverage will be there for last 18 months of current affairs. Through current affairs, how you can anticipate the probable questions? That will also be one of the aspects that we will, we will be looking in this. Then tackling MCQs to current affairs, that will be again important point that how you can tackle the MCQs that are from current affairs, how you identify the MCQs that are from current affairs. These are also key areas that we will be discussing in this batch. And then you will be having a concise revision friendly material with you and through, through that you can properly revise the content of current affairs of the last 18 months. Just for sample, let's see one important news that uh, and so, some news related to this we are covering. So, Sambar Lake, why it was in news? Because of this uh, avian botulism infection and about uh, 20,000 migratory birds died uh, because of this uh, infection. Some related facts about Sambar Lake. It is India's largest inland salt lake surrounded by Aravali hills on all sides. And then it is also a Ramsar wetland site. If we try to locate this on map, this is how you need to approach to any particular news. So here we are having Sambar Lake. Sambar Lake and nearest to that some important places we should know. Here is Jaipur. Here is Jaipur. Then here is Jodhpur. After that here is Bikane. Then here you are having Bharatpur. And then here you are having Udaipur. And among all these places, this Jaipur is nearest to this Sambar Lake. And some other places in Rajasthan also you should know. Like Bikaner, what are the key things in Bikaner? It is having Bikaneri Bhujia, which is having GI tag also. Here you celebrate International Camel Festival. Nearby you are having Gajaner Wildlife Sanctuary. Gajaner Wildlife Sanctuary. And through this entire region, you are having Indira Gandhi Canal Passing. Then some other areas, like Khetri Copper Mines are there. Sariska, this is a tiger reserve. And uh, apart from that, here you are having Bharatpur, which is again a bird sanctuary. Nearby that you are having Keval Dev Ghana. This is again a forest area where you are having Siberian cream. World Heritage site is also there. Then uh, Ramsar site is there, which is included in Montreal's record also. This Keval Dev Ghana. Apart from that, some other places like Ranthambore here you can see, which is popular for this Bengal tiger also. In the northern side of Ranthambore, there is Banas river flowing. And in the southern side, there is Chambal river flowing. Then there is one important place called Udaipur here. Udaipur. In this Mewad region, you are having Udaipur. In this overall region, we are having Gumar dance and Kalbelia dance. These are quite famous in this area. Udaipur is also known as city of lakes. So Fateh, Fateh Sagar lake is there. Varup Sagar lake is there. Dud Talai lake is there. Lake Pichola is there. And Rang Sagar is there. So these are various lakes in this uh, Udaipur city. Nearby, you are having this Rana Pratap Sagar Dam. And beside that, there is one important place called Ravad Bhatam. This is a nuclear power plant. And uh, this is uh, uh, basically in part of the southern Rajasthan. So these are some key areas which you need to look whenever you are having any news related to this. Like Sambar Lake, this is in Rajasthan. So some other, other important areas in Rajasthan also you should know. In this way, you can cover a lot of things in a very small amount of time. And simultaneously, you should also know that how UPSC is asking you questions from this. So, let's see this question. UPSC 2004. Lake Sambar, it is nearest to which one of the following cities of Rajasthan? And as we have seen in the map, Jaipur is that city which is nearest to this Lake Sambar. So, answer is B here. So, what are the important information about uh, our batch. So weekly two lectures will be there in online mode. Recorded lectures will also be made available to you. And apart from that, there is a very important feature that it will be including month-wise current affairs test series also that can help you to revise your monthly current affairs on a regular basis through MCQs. That is one important feature. The batch will be starting from 1st of February 2022. First session on this 1st February, it will be open to all. For more details, you can contact on these numbers. Thank you.